Got my assistant out here cleaning off my snowmobile, the 165 Polaris Boost. And today we're going for the Creek to Peak mission. There's our rescue man. Oh, it just blew up. Oh, shit. Come on. Uh oh. No. <laughs> A little early in the season to be doing it, but we got Dallas coming out. He wants to give it a go. And it's going to be super warm here at low elevation for the next couple weeks. So this is going to be our only opportunity to do it for quite some time. Since we are taking the players here today, we made a quick stop at Full Speed Rentals here to pick up. I wanted a clutch bolt. Unfortunately, they didn't have one, but I did get a clutch spring because these are known to blow the springs pretty frequently. It's about time. You go for a nice family cruise instead. You can ride on the back. You think that strap's gonna be big enough to hold it? Uh, I don't know. It might need a bigger one, eh? <laughs> Better? That ain't going nowhere. Said everybody who's ever tied down anything. <laughs> <laughs> side of the trail like that when it's single track through here. I'm definitely more comfortable on the players than the, the skidoo just because it's more predictable. Today is our warmest day in, in weeks. It is a high of plus two in the valley today. So starts our adventure into the sticks. Oh! Shit. Maybe that's the biggest tree I've ever seen. Oh. That one's really big, dude. That one is huge. I want to measure it. Rope looped around the tree. We got a knot here. Let's see how long that is. So I think that tree measured about 29 feet around. 28 maybe. That's a little hairy for everybody. Ah, you're good. What a neat rock. And then you got massive trees just growing on top of massive boulders. And we are through. Not too often you can do power carves down here. Look who is that, or third. He's gotta do some power carves too, he always does. Average Austin. What's going on? Dude, it is so thick up here. Do you think we go this side? Okay. <laughs> Usually this is just like smooth sailing through here. Dallas definitely had the right call sticking towards the hillside. I'm really right there by that little bush. Yeah, it looks good. That wasn't so bad. It looked it looked a lot thicker than it was. Cross, I guess. Huh? Guess we gotta get over there. 
Doesn't look like it's filled filled in where we'd cross it normally. You go first! <laughs> That's sick! <laughs> Then we'll have another creek crossing just somewhere up here. I don't know where. I'll go there! It's easy to cross this year. We are pretty much in the clear now for everything. Willows, creek crossings. I think that ah, no one, one more creek crossing up here this is all just suspended ice through here so I'm a little nervous to try and cross on it because if you look up there that's what we're looking at here what do you think it's just it's the floating ice Whoa! <laughs> that's what I was worried about all the ice collapsed. Oh yeah! Perfect! We are already dumping gas in here. Not sure we'll take the whole thing. Probably pretty close to it. Dad wasn't even gonna bring fuel today. I had no idea. I've never seen this much snow down here. This is usually just idle area. Yeah, we're wide open through everything. You think this will take all 15 liters? Not quite. Doesn't sound like it. He goes brave. <laughs> yeah. It'll break on him. Nope, not quite all of it. I've got, I got like, <laughs> not even a liter left. It'll get us halfway out. Alice with the fancy juice caboose here. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Butterfingers. I feel like the skidoos definitely didn't burn as much. Oh. Did you take it all? She's still going. You sure you filled your sled up today? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh. A little bit left. Uh, maybe, maybe two meters. It's actually pretty fun going through the willows. It was like hallways that you would get. Yeah, no, it wasn't nearly as thick as I thought it would be. <laughs> Dallas took off on us, but this is where our fun starts. Up through the old This might rival some of our toughest days to pull up here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, this is gonna be a lot for the group today. What the heck? Uh-oh. Did you see the moose? Yeah, I don't know where he went. I might make a trail straight down that face for the oh. for those guys. <laughs> We're gonna burn all our gas just getting the, the guys up the first section of hills here. Remember the first time we came up here, we climbed like straight up this? Oh, yeah. oh it's like a highway. Road building. Clutch just okay. Clutch is still on. It's not my clutch. It's my drive belt. Looks like something got under the belt. Was rubbing on it, and it's delaminating. Fuck. I don't have a spare belt either. It's in my truck. I only spare, carry a spare drive belt, not a quick drive belt. My first instinct was clutch because that's what I was paranoid about. Should have put in the spare belt drive. I carry obviously the primary drive belt, but not a quick drive, so nobody to blame here but my own dumb ass. Ooh. Quick drive belt. Oh no. I I didn't bring one up with me either. It's a good spot for towing, really easy to get back. So. Well, so you wanna you wanna double me so we could still ride? Well up, see if we can chase everybody. I might be the wrong person to steer, but let's do it. Yeah, I don't think we make it 10 feet. It's pretty deep up there. I can barely make it 10 feet. Yeah. <laughs> there goes Hugo.
don't know if I should take someone sled and or someone go get me a belt. I can drive it part way, but it's not gonna go well. I don't know how I feel about sitting here for the next two hours. No, no. I'd rather sit here than someone, but I don't want to send somebody else by themselves, so. Because no. there's some technical stuff through there. Yeah. Like, there's some shitty stuff through that. Should really, two people should really go. What'd you get one helicoptered in? Dad and I are wrenching the players here. Uh, we actually decided to try and call for a helicopter to bring us a belt drive, which seems absolutely ridiculous, but uh, for, for what it is, it's probably the easiest solution. <laughs> taking this off right now i just went to loosen the bottom gear the bolt it's it's already loose it's, it looks it's finger tight that's kind of weird that's why it blew i deserve to pay for a helicopter for my dumb ass just not carrying a spare belt instead of making these guys suffer riding all the way back out to get one and losing a day of riding except for me it's well you go ride Two o five. They're getting better. Two o five. I got two o five here. And we're only at a thousand meter. Yeah. Old belt is off. There's a ton of belt that's just stuck to this gear on the quick drive here. You know this this mountain is uh, it's really kicked my ass the last three times I've been here. We have yet to make it to the top. We tried twice last year. We made it pretty much to the top, not quite. First attempt this year. Not going well. Dad's getting some firewood to make a fire. I feel bad that he's not riding, but there's also nobody. I, I told him to go ride, but the, now there's nobody looking out for him since he's still down here with me. He's folded in there like a pretzel, dude. <laughs> hey, Do you need help? Oh, I'm good. <laughs> he looks so little there. <laughs> this is what today's come to, eh? It's eventful. <laughs> Lots of riding. Lots of riding. For some of us. I think it's lunchtime now. Way past lunchtime. Yeah, it looks like it's getting dark time. I know. It's two o'clock. The dog's starting to panic. You got that? <laughs> I will in an hour. <clears throat> hey, once I get this fixed, I'm going up. On the barbecue, what do we got today? Probably done here. Here it's sizzling. <laughs> Chow me, <baby. laughs> <laughs> Never bit smoke too. Perfect. Never bring cutlery, eh? I yeah. <laughs> Screwed that one up. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Chopsticks. There's our rescue man. Oh, okay. We got a spare for when I blow the next one. Huh. Thousand dollars in belts and a five hundred dollar heli. <coughs> Got the fire going good though. Yeah. This is the fun part now is to line up or get on the quick drive. That tool sounds great. Oh, it just blew up. Well, we're working here. Dallas is doing hot laps, and uh, just blew the sled up.
He's just he's just gonna start driving, so. Bye, we'll catch up to you. When it fully blows. Hey Dallas, don't go anywhere, eh? <laughs> You gotta let it warm up. Get up here and get higher than Dallas. Can't let the NA have the high mark. Really weird how these are stumps, like trees cut off here. Well, like why? We're in the middle of nowhere. Damn, that's fine. Oh, there's you go. Looks like Hugo might be stuck. <laughs> there's a good pillow right here. Launch off it. Where'd you go? We're gonna work our way out now. Catch up to the guys. I think they're working their way out with Dallas' sled that's blown up. I had to get in a couple laps though. And Jerry. Can we go straight down? Holy. Yeah, steep trees, maybe. Take a fresh line, boys. <sighs> and then we're back on our tracks. A lot of fun to just drop down the steeper stuff since you can't climb it. You may as well drop down it. I think that's uh, 
the least progress we've ever made in this zone. Actually, no, one time I rode off my sled here. Didn't make it any farther than that uh, second meadow we were in. <laughs> this place is bad luck, man. But the riding is so good. Like, like I always say, the days you think you're gonna need your gas are the days you don't. <laughs> Interested to see how far Dallas is gonna make it on his one cylinder now. At least it's still rideable. Better than towing out of this place. <laughs> that one's deep. <laughs> Yeah, that one's kind of deep for that. Well, Jerry, what are you doing? Just give it. Go. Oh. What? You don't really, you don't really want to go slow through this one. It's deep. <laughs> Fogging up a storm, sweating buckets. Take me back to the minus 20. Screw it, screw this warm weather. Ooh, that is gross. Feels warm, but my uh, throttle cable keeps sticking, so I'm keeping like two fingers on the brakes at most times here, especially in the trees. Stuck. <laughs> Let go. Dallas stole one longer made it, eh? Hey, it still counts as a day, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it actually made it. That's crazy, man. Yeah. Off to the dealer. It, it only it died on me three times. Oh, it did it. die, yeah. I'm gonna fire it up every time, right away. So. Water cross on one cylinder or what? <laughs> yeah. And then I hit the main trail, and I just held her with. Oh, like, oh, it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good stuff. Good day. Yeah. Adventurous. Yeah, good to you. You got a spare belt? Spare belt? We'll need one for this, baby. <laughs> We're heading back up the same zone today for round two. And look who's joined us today. Dawson. Good to see you, buddy. Yeah, it's been a long time. Too long. Oh, no. That deep right there. That is one moist sound. <laughs> Ready to go? Oh, you
I'm riding really bad. That was full target fixation on that tree and being indecisive. But my bumper fully saved my sled. I don't even think it's bent to be honest. the right side here. <laughs> oh man. Here from Dawson? Yeah, he said he's going down. Oh, he's headed back to the truck. Oh. You can only get like 6,000 RPM. Really? The auxiliary injector he's saying or something. Oh, fuck. Overheated or what? Yeah. So before we cross this slope here, which is about 30 degrees, uh, just from checking with my phone, it's like a bit of a pit here, and we're going to test out the snow. Not going to get too technical with what I saw here, but it looks pretty good. We didn't get any sudden planar results where the snow would just slide off like a big slab. Bit of a layer way down there, but overall, pretty happy with it. If you guys remember in here last year, this is where we fought tooth and nail to get up this last last section here. <laughs> Trying to get lined up for that coming out of the corner isn't the most easiest.
one's deep. Okay. Go back here and make sure all the guys are good. Come on, Jerry! No, keep going! <laughs> We're gonna drop down to the bottom of this one and do a full pull like Hugo. See if we can carry more speed than him. It looks so mellow coming down here, but I just watched him pull up and he struggled. He had every advantage we could get here. It's Austin. So close and yet so far. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday when the sled was broke down, we made a fire, but honestly kind of struggled to get it going. So we're still waiting for Taylor here. Ah. I've had this fire starter in my bag for over a year, two years now. So we'll, we'll use it and see how it works. Never use the fire starter. Look at that, we can make a fire. You guys ready to snowmobile now? About time. <laughs> About time? <laughs> I've been doing more digging than snowmobiling. Yeah, we haven't seen you for a minute. I've moved a few, <laughs> probably 10 yards of snow. <laughs> what a nice fire. <laughs> Gotta let my sled warm back up here. <laughs> Above you go now. <laughs> Shit. Oh, the 165 is like cheating for that. Thank God though. We'll go check and see how everyone's doing. Should I make a trail down to make it easy for everybody? I guess.
That was a nice one. You got dragged along like a rag doll? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, Polaris! Oh, he just lost a lot of speed. Can he make it? Nope. Ooh. This hill is really... <laughs> it's not too smooth. It's really throwing the guys off their, their lines. Another run for Average Austin here. Come on, buddy! That's a difference of a 165. I chewed up there. Hugo's taking my cheater line here, the original way I got out. Should be able to get it from there. You got a lot of traction on the hard snow in there. Hugo's got it. Oh yeah. We got Jerry coming up next, come on. Oh, that pillow, it screws everybody. Staying on his line. Oh, I think he's got it. Just chewing. Come on, hold her wide. Yeah. Do you think he'll come down here? <laughs> yeah. Good. All right, Taylor. Looking pretty good. Oh, come on. Uh-oh. Oh. That's scary. Bowen. <laughs> <laughs> Almost had a number two mouse trap. There you go. Oh my God. <laughs> Side panel, oh no, don't ride without that. He doesn't know. Well. Where's your side panel? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Can I go back to that now? No, it's, it's, don't. It's right there. Didn't want uh, Chris to drive without his panel on because don't want to get snow in the belt drive because it'll blow the gear. Should be good. There you go, sir. There you go, sir. This elevation of trees here is always just so different and there's always the snowballs off the trees. And, oh, here goes up. Like that. 
I don't think I've actually changed my sled on or my belt on this sled yet. <laughs> Get me back up. It is freaking deep. All right, how's everybody making out? I got five feet. I was behind you, but I'm in a fucking big hole now. It's really hard to make it through that section uh, around the track. without getting stuck. Like, it looks like the easiest section because it's pretty flat. Man, does that 154 ever work well? Like, I didn't try and climb that because I didn't think I'd make it. All right, let's get, let's get this belt changed. Holy shit, that is a disaster. So I honestly can't remember if I changed the belt on this last year, but definitely not complaining about the belt life on this sled because I don't remember lowering one yet and it's got 1300k, so perfect. Oh, it's so weird, the terrain, eh? Through there, right? Yeah, yeah it's so tricky. <laughs> 240. 240. Wow, that's the best I've seen all year. Shit. What do you think? Is that a good break in for a new belt?
didn't quite get that. Yeah, this is pretty much my only option here. <laughs> Damn it, man. I didn't pull out any shovels for that. Just packed down the front of the sled. Held her wide. It's also sometimes how you make things a lot worse. giant hole right there. Did not see that at all. I always try and rush the last section getting up there and that's when I make a lot of my mistakes. Oh man, this isn't ideal. out of fuel oh my god I don't believe it we made it in a snowstorm getting pretty sore after the two-day battle just to get up to this which is white nothing you can't see anything usually there's a wicked view from up here when it's bluebeard uh, and obviously we're not gonna get up to the Alpine today probably wouldn't anyway with just a little bit of avi danger to climb into the alpine here but uh yeah snow is freaking deep up here what a battle hugo says he's on my on my track just over there yeah i'll probably just let the helmet dry out here for a minute change our gloves and work our way back down i, th I, th I think i've got pretty low on fuel so <laughs> good stuff fun day fun couple days expensive couple days Getting some downy lines on the way. Oh, it's good. <laughs> Buried me. All right, let's get out of this place. Back to the gas cans. Snow quite a bit today, actually. Ooh, can't believe how good this snow is at this elevation. We're like six or 700 meters and the snow in these trees is just epic. You know what this feels like right now? Driving across a lake in Ontario. Well, that was a pretty good couple days of riding. It took us two days to get into that zone. Uh, I mean, you guys all made it back. <laughs> not, not everybody made it up, but uh, good ride. Everybody did good. Yeah, Cheers. Good, day. Good, day. good to see you. Yeah. Cheers. Gnarly. <laughs> <laughs>